Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Chris from Real Rideshare Stories. Dylan asked me to fill in and talk to you guys today about driving for both Uber and Lyft at the same time. But first, if you've been thinking about becoming a rideshare driver, make sure you click the link in the description below. Let's get started. So I do drive for both Uber and Lyft, usually at the same time. Uh, and quick disclaimer before we get into it. Uh, if you are driving a passenger for one company or one platform, make sure you're offline on the other one. Uh, this is mostly for uh, when you're waiting for a ride during a downtime area or when you're first getting started. So here's a few reasons on why you should uh, drive for both. Uh, let's start off first. You're going to have less downtime, which is good. So you're going to have more rides in the time uh, that you're online, and that's going to lead to more money in your pocket. So that's always a great thing. Uh, you're going to see options of both companies that they have. Uh, you're going to take advantage of both platforms for the different benefits that they offer. You're going to you're going to be able to work both surge pricing and prime time pricing uh, according to your schedule and according to your location. Uh, as you know, uh, if you're a driver, both surge and prime time can be scheduled, and it can pop up due to demand. Uh, so you can kind of use that to your advantage, uh, especially if you're in one of the locations where prime time or surge is happening, uh, as well as if it's scheduled. Also, you can work different goals, the promotions, the streaks uh, for both companies. So it's going to in turn give you more money into your pocket. Uh, you can target different areas around where you are. Uh, uh, different areas definitely use both platforms differently. Uh, so if you wanted to use, uh, use a streak and you knew uh, a certain area uh, where you drive uh, has more riders for that platform, then you can use that to your advantage to make more, more money and get that bonus or that streak completion. Also, a uh, big thing is you can compare each platform and see which one's better for you. Uh, both companies are very closely related, but they definitely have some differences. And there are a lot of drivers out there that have a lot of different opinions uh, on how they want to drive. Uh, but those are a few reasons why you should drive for both and drive for both at the same time. Now let's talk some tips for when you're online for both at the same time. So it can be a little bit of a challenge because there are a few extra steps, uh, but if you follow these few, uh, you'll be able to drive for both real smooth uh, and have no issues. So first, a uh, big thing you wanna know is make sure you know how to switch between apps quickly. Uh, it's gonna be on your phone, uh, so just make sure you know how to switch between uh, both Uber and Lyft at the same time, uh, or any app for that matter. Uh, just so then it's going to make you be able to uh, do it a little more seamlessly. Um, so when a ride comes in on one platform, uh, accept it. Then you want to switch over to the other platform and sign off. Uh, then go back to the platform that you accepted the ride and go from there. Uh, so that's definitely going to add a couple of steps there. Uh, but once you've been doing it a few times, it's real seamless. It's not hard to do at all. Make sure you are offline with the other company while you're driving for somebody else. I've heard a few stories when people are online for both uh, and it just doesn't work. So definitely make sure you go offline when you're on uh, or giving a ride for uh, the other platform. So now let's talk about if you get pinged from both companies at the same time when you're on both platforms at the same time. Uh, the easiest thing is use your discretion on accepting one and denying the other. Definitely keep a few things in mind. Uh, you definitely want to keep in mind the fact if you're in the middle of a promotion or a streak, uh, you want to make sure that you can get those uh, requirements filled the best. Uh, so whatever is easiest for you uh, and where you're at in that promotion or that streak. Also know if it's surge or primetime pricing because you're going to make more money for that ride. And then also see if it's a long ride uh, or not. And depending on where you are in your shift, uh, if you want to take that ride or not. So those are definitely a few things that you want to keep in mind. If you can't look at that information or you can't do it that fast because you do only get a few seconds, uh, my recommendation for that is uh, accept the first ride that comes in, switch over to the second one, uh, to the other platform, deny that ride, sign off on that platform, 
and then go back to the original platform uh, with the passenger uh, that you're going to be driving for. So those are a few reasons why you could drive for both at the same time, and also a few tips for making sure it goes smoothly for you. Again, if you're interested in becoming a Lyft driver, make sure you click the link in the description below. And also make sure you check out my channel called Real Rideshare Stories, where I give some tips also, uh, different news about the rideshare industry, what's going on, and also really what happens during some rides. Thanks again, Dellen, for asking me to host. I hope you guys had a great time. See you next time.